Hi everyone, today is February 9th and we've had our salmon eggs for 29 days. In our past videos, we talked about how the rocks are important for salmon and how the temperature of the water can affect salmon. Um, in our tank, we check the temperature every day, but we also check things called ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. These are all things that come from the egg casings and the waste from the salmon when they go to the bathroom. If the levels of these things are too high in our tank, our salmon may not survive. So the filter in our tank helps to filter out that waste, but we also change the water every few days to remove this waste. Unfortunately, we can't filter or replace stream water. The stream system can take care of natural waste, but not pollution from human activities that ends up in the streams. For example, Western pearl mussels, they live in Clear Creek where these salmon are gonna be released. These mussels help clean our streams by filtering out what's called algae. It's like a plant-like organism that grows in the water and it helps filter bacteria out of the stream. But when the levels of algae and bacteria are higher than they are naturally, or when chemicals and other pollutants can end up in the stream, the natural system can't take care of it. That's when streams get polluted. So we need to be careful what can wash into our streams through storm drains and ditches and other things that are left on the land. When it rains, things that are left on the land can wash down into our storm drains and ditches and out into our streams. Keeping car leaks off the ground or fixing those car leaks, pulling weeds instead of spraying them, picking up dog waste, and keeping tires properly inflated or walking instead of driving can all help to keep our streams healthy for salmon and other aquatic life. Do you remember what type of salmon eggs these are? I wonder how many eggs a female salmon lays. We'll talk about that in our next video. And I'm going to take a minute and move around here a little bit so you can see some of the other activity. We have our alevin still down in the corner. There's quite a bit of activity in the rocks here. They are getting much bigger. What else do you notice is happening? 